Oh, she is a feisty girl, isn't she? She lovely. is a Welcome, feisty by the way. It's lovely to be here, thank um, you. I love Home Fires. I really enjoyed the first series. And I, I love the whole kind of lots of women yep. involved, you know, because obviously left at home, a lot of them, and then going off to yep. war. A lot of girl power going a lot on. Of girl There's power. a lot of girl power going on. Um, and she is kind of head of girl power, isn't she? Well, she certainly was head of girl power. Um, uh, for those people who have seen episode one. Well, yes. be careful. Let me just put a, a spoiler, spoiler announcement alert. out. Yes. If you're watching Home Fires and you haven't seen the first episode that was on... Which was last Sunday. Do put not listen now. I'm going I'm <laughs> to yeah. signal with my hands, so cover yeah. your ears now. Go. So well, at the end of episode one, of course, Peter is killed in a car accident. Yes. And you can listen now. Welcome back. And so Everything's that makes, fine. That brings a huge change to yeah. Francis's life and the Francis that you mm. encounter yeah. in the course of series two. So we said it, when you when you all got the script, you're doing a read through. Yeah. People were kind of reading ahead and laughing and then crying and then laughing and then going, oh no. Yeah. No, we got so to the end. We happens. did one, two, and three all in one morning. And at the end of series, at the end of uh, uh, episode three. I should think half the room was in tears. I mean, it's incredibly moving yeah. and incredibly real and, and frightening the, and painful. Yeah. And, and the subject matter is incredibly moving, isn't it? Because yeah. this was wartime, and we're now Battle of Britain, I think, in, mm -hmm. in series right. two. Uh, men going off to war, relationships being affected, romances starting, and yeah. things that seemed to happen at a pace because people f didn't know how much time they had. Well, I think I that's absolutely true. Yeah. And I think um, we've just seen. Uh, Claire's marriage mm. and um, you know you do do those things quickly because exactly as you say you don't know what's going to happen next mm. and you seize the day and you grab the moment um, and there's an awful lot of uh, loneliness as well you know the the butcher's boy David is missing mm. um, the vicar is we know a prisoner of war somewhere uh, stands out serving we know that Bob's just come back injured so it, it's it's a very very unsettling time and the thing about Cheshire, where we're based, is that the planes going to Blitz Liverpool went right over right the villages. Over. Yeah. So it's very real. It's not some yeah. distant thing that's yeah. happening elsewhere. It's absolutely on your doorstep. You've, you've just brought it up. I mean, I always watch these sort of dramas and I sit there and go, how amazing. It all looks so amazing. You mm. know, so much has gone into this. But you, like you said, you're in Cheshire, um, in Bunbury. Yeah. Um, you have to take over the town. You know, it, it's literally a bit of a town takeover. Well, Everything we do it as delicately be... as we can. Well, this is what I want to know. What are the locals like? Are they not like, oh, here she is? No, the oh, money pennies been... back again, yeah. throwing her flags around. No, they've been absolutely great. And uh, quite a lot of the interiors, so when you go into a house, that'll be somewhere else. Yeah. But the yeah. exteriors are all And do any of them get uh, jobs as extras? Are people kind of yeah, in the yeah. background? Yeah, and, you, you see know. people walking... Past and they were just genuinely walking yeah. past. <laughs> no, because they'd be in the wrong costume. True they? say, true you say. See. Do you want to go to the post office door ring? We've got to put you in a 19 hour ever many dress. <laughs> but going back to the, the reality of it, there's a church that we film in and you, the viewers, will only ever see one side of the church because one side of the church has got the stained glass windows. The other side Modern of the eye. church is where the bomb landed. Oh, oh right. And they've never had the money to replace they've had them. it. Back. So they've got plain glass that side. Oh, so I mean, it is yeah. it's extraordinary. And, and Simon Block, our writer, to weave all those characters and all those plots... With so many people. With yeah. so many people and constantly surprising you. Mm. I mean, you know, I read episode one, I knew what had happened, and then you get to episode two and you get to the last page of episode two and you go, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Because it's just so not what you expected. And that keeps <gasps> happening all the so, way through. Oh, there's like such it. a talent to do that with, like you said, 18 principal yeah. roles. And if everyone having a storyline, everyone having their character, and everyone having something happen to them. And also a stunning company to be a part yeah. of. I'm so... I just... It is awful when actors say how happy they are. <laughs> but it is, yeah, we like to hear that. It's like one of the happiest... <laughs> Cruise, one of the happiest casts I've ever been We'd love to know what that's like. With. And, really and terrific, um, terrific roles for women, a lot of women in it. Yep. I mean, do you, do you feel a bit like, yes, another, you know, roles for women, older women, more mature women? Yeah. There's you... still not very many of them, no. and I, it still depresses me that we talk about a female-led drama. I mean, who has ever heard anyone say a male-led male -led drama? drama? It's a, it's a, it's it's a drama. Expect. It's what Exactly. Mm. Do you think it's changing? Slowly? Slowly, maybe. It would be nice, mm. you know. And when you think there have been some extraordinary dramas on recently, Happy Valley, Sarah Lancashire oh, being amazing. absolutely stunning, uh, with Siobhan Finneman. And you could, she was on the other day, wasn't she? Mm. And, um, and you go, you know, middle-aged women 
are bewitching and beguiling and extraordinary and come with history and passion and let's just watch them And sometimes. also we relate to them because all the things that are going on in their lives, yeah. so many of us watching relate to, don't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, Home Fires is absolutely brilliant. Um, Olivia Awards at the weekend, your mate, Dame Judy, yeah. broke a record. She did. Is it eight now? Eight. Talk about striking Stunning. out for women. But also, I do think this is possibly the only time she's won for Best Supporting Actress. I think yeah. every yes. other time has been, you know, yeah. the leading. But yeah. no, thrilling for her. It's fantastic. We love her, and I'm sure you're we thrilled. We do love her. Absolutely thrilled for her. Um, Home Fires continues Sunday night, 9pm on ITV. We're not yes. going to miss it. And if you've not seen episode so one... We're saying nothing. We're no, not going to no. say a word. Yeah, watch episode watch one. It. You need to watch one, really, don't you? You do. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. on catch-up. It's on, on catch-up now. Samantha, thank you, thank Samantha. you for joining us. Thank you.